옛날에 어, 아주 핑크색을 좋아하는 그 왕이 있어요. Long time ago there was a king who really liked the color pink. 왕 좋아하냐면 에, 왕궁을 완전히 핑크빛으로 바꿔 놨어요. He really liked the pink color that's why he painted everything inside of his palace into the pink color. 그러니까 왕궁 안에 막 모든 걸 전부 핑크 So he painted everything inside of his palace with pink color. 근데 이 왕이 But when this king just went outside, things out there is not really pink, right? And since he is a king, he can do everything. That's why he commanded to his servants that you have to paint everything, every stuff into pink color. 그래가지고 군인들 풀어야지 막. So all the soldiers they started to paint everything into this pink color. 아, 국민들이 어쩔 수 없잖아요. 뭐 절대 왕인데 뭐왕 밑에 왕이 거의 할수 없으니까 막 싫어도 할수 없이 다 핑크 다. Like people in this country, even though they didn't really like it, but since the king said so, they had no choice but to paint everything in pink. So they even painted trees in the mountain in pink. 그래 왕이 얼마 기분이 So looking at that, <laughs> that king was really like pleased by that. Oh, everything is in pink right now. <laughs> But when the king looked at the sky, the the color, I mean, the color of the sky was not pink, right? <laughs> so the king started to think like this. Oh, how can I really change the color of the sky into pink? <laughs> No matter how much he started to think about this, he couldn't really get the answer. And at the time, one really smart servant said to him like this, Oh king, there is really a simple way to do that. So what is that? Oh, I prepared these glasses for you. 뭐 하늘이 온 세상이 핑크 빨. So if you look at this, uh, if you wear these glasses, then everything will be turned into pink. 그래가지고 임금이 신하시는 이 안개 핑크빛 안개 뭘까요? 온 세상 하늘도 핑크 뭘? So look at everything into pink. 그런 그야말로 그냥 옛날 얘기. Yeah, this is really. This is kind of a fairy tale. 여러분이 어떻게 우리 각인 뿌리 체질 바꾸? How can you change our imprint with nature? And how can we look at this world into the correct perspective? And how can you really look at our problems or like issues from the correct perspective and then solve the problems? So you must possess the correct perspective or views. And that is why I made this gospel chart. So whenever I just meet some people who I consider as disciple, I always change their perspective or views through this gospel chart. And through the way of salvation, if you can plant correct assurance of salvation or assurance of gospel then we can give correct nurturing for people. 그래, 이 사람이 중요한 정말 사명자고 앞으로 사역을 해야 되고 또 가르치는 목회자라면 관점 바꿔야 돼요. But if you think that oh these people they are really important community workers or pastors or disciples then you must change their perspectives. 왜냐면요. 가보세요. 복음 받아도 전부 복음은 그냥 껍데기지. 실제로 보면 전부 다 자기가 그동안 배운 거, 들은 거, 본 걸로 그렇게 다 판단하고 가지. Why? Because if you look at the field, and then if you look at some people in the field, even though they receive the gospel, but they just consider the gospel as the like outer shell or something. When they look at the realistic problems, they just interpret everything from the perspective that they possessed already. 왜냐면 그게 전부 다 보는 관점이거든. Why? Because the something that they have already, it is 
They are perspective. They just interpret everything through that perspective. 그러니까 관점을 안 바꿔주면 복음 아무리 들어도 계속. That is why if we cannot or if we don't change the perspective or of people, then everything will be just turned into vain. 복음적인 세계관. 그렇죠. And that is why like biblical or evangelical world view is really important. 가치관. And the value system. 윤리관. Or a look on life. 나 인생관. And view on life and death. 사생관. View of our life and the view of our life and death. 이렇게 바꿔줘. And we must change this kind of perspective with the gospel. 왜 제가 바꿔주기 위해서 이렇게 하다 보니까 하나님. And in order to change the perspective of disciples, I will pray a lot, and then God made me to arrange and organize this message, this gospel chart. And from the message, we listen to the word of God that through the 21 lifestyle of evangelists, we have to change everything. And we must change it with the word of God. 그러면 우리는 다 알아들 말인데 제 다민족 여러분 가서 그 무만지 설명 뭐 알아듣습니까? And then like in our case when you understand when you listen to this message we just get the point of it but in the case of our multi-ethnic people they don't really get the point of this word. 그런 말을 가지고 뭐 알아? So we must also change their perspective and then views but if you just like explain to them about with this message then they don't really get the point of it. 그래서 구원의 길 높여 가지고 이제 복음을 이해했으면 그다음에 말 성경까지 딴 필요 없어요. 성경 가지고 하나님 말씀 가지고 똑같이. And that is why first of all if multi-ethnic people is understand the message with the way of salvation, the next actually you don't really need any other things but with the Bible you must change their perspectives and views. 그래서 저는 에 일단 강의로 이해를 시켜 주고 그 다음에 이 사람이 계속 워크샵을 통해서 이게 각인 뿌리 채워줘. And that is why first of all, like through the lecture, I really make disciples to understand about this gospel chart, and then through the workshop, I really make them to understand, and then we're done inside of this message continuously. 자, 여러분이 구원의 도표를 잘 하고 있기 때문에 뭐 어려운 게 아닙니다. 쉬운데 어 조금 예, 말씀 가지고. 어, 실제로 좀 바꿀 수 있을 만큼 좀 이게 예, 조금 더 깊이 있습니다. And you all know about the way of salvation well and then actually the content of this gospel chart is not really difficult one but uh, much in a much easier way like let me explain to you about this one more. 하나님의 창조와 통치. So the first one is God's principle of creation and his reign. 이걸 에, 이렇게 또 보면 and you can draw a chart in this manner. 창세기 1장 제목 하나님이 태초에 천지를 창조하신 날. And if you look at Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 it says that in the beginning God created heavens and the earth. 하늘과 땅이란 말인데 그게 무슨 말이야? So it says heavens and the earth. So what is the meaning of it? 영의 세계와 육신의 세계. It means that the heaven is the spiritual world and the earth is physical world. God created invisible spiritual world. And God also created visible physical world and the material world. And God dwells in the heaven. And God also created heavenly angels in there. And it is transcendent transcending world, 그렇죠. transcendental world. And it transcends everything. It is not really limited by the space and the time. All, all the resource there is unlimited. And there is eternal life there. There is eternal life there. So this is the invisible spiritual world that God made. 그러면서 보이는 육신 세계를 창조. And at the same time, God created visible physical world. 하나님이 땅에 이 육신 세계를 만드시고 땅에 세계 만드 여기에 만물이 존재해. God created all the creatures on this earth, and then 
And then God will let them um, dwell in this physical world, and then God also created mankind on this physical world. And it is limited world. And then this is a limited world. It is limited by the time and the space. And all the resource there is inherent. 그러니까 이 한계 있으니까요. 시간이 지나면 그렇죠. 계속 이 결핍돼 가지고 고갈돼. So since have since they have the limitation when the time really passes then everything just runs out and then they'll face deficiency. 소멸되는 죽음. And when everything runs out then they have no choice but to face death. 이게 육신 세계. And this is all about this physical world. 그러니까 이두 세계를 창조 so God created these two worlds. But as you can see, there is a dotted, like broken line there, dotted line. So it means that those two worlds are separated, but at the same time, they can communicate together. And if you look at Genesis chapter 1, verse 27 and 28, it says that God created man in his own image. God created man in a special way. Man, they are living on this earth, but the Bible tells us that God created man in his own image. And then God blessed them. And fill the earth. And the rule over all the creatures on this earth. And then conquer this earth. 그렇죠. So if you look at Psalm chapter 8, verse 4 to 8. Then what is man? And what is man? What is the reason that God created man a little bit lower than God himself? And then God entrusted everything to human beings so that they can rule over all the creatures on this earth that God created with his hands. And God also crowned them with the honor and the glory. And then God also put all the creatures under the feet of man. So what is the meaning of this? It means that he is the ruler. It means that we, mankind, we are the ruler, but not just the ruler, but we are God's proxy ruler. And that is why if you look at Genesis chapter 2 verse 7 it says that God created the flesh out of dust and then God, when God breathed it into his nostrils the breath of life the man became living being. And it says that like man they just live on this earth with flesh but the Bible tells us that God created man in his own image. 땅에 사는 육신적 인간인데 성경은 뭐라 그랬냐? 인간은 영으로 영적인. And it seems that we are living on this earth with the flesh, but the Bible tells us that man, we have the spirit. We are spiritual being. 그래 인간은 이 영적 세계를 알 And that is why we mankind we can know about this spiritual world. 인간은 이 세계에 들어갈 수 있고 이 세계에 있는 축복을 누릴 수 있어. We can enter into this spiritual world, and then we can also enjoy all the spiritual blessing which belongs to this spiritual world. And then God also entrusted mankind to rule over all the things on this earth. So if you look at Genesis chapter 2 verse 17, God made this covenant between God and man. And then God said that you are free to do anything on this earth. But you must not eat the fruit from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. When you eat of it, you will surely die. So this covenant is guaranteed by the life. So these worlds are the these worlds are made by God, and then as you can see, this is the principle of God. And as, since you are all evangelists, there is something that you have to know. 
If you just know all the things in this manner, then actually it is not enough. And from here, you must know the correct relationship between God, man, and all creatures. We, mankind, we are spiritual beings and also we are physical beings. And that is why God gave this covenant to mankind. So first we can see the relationship between God and man. God is the creator. And to our God who is the creator, we are God's creature. God is the ruler of all the creatures. What about we mankind then? We are God's proxy ruler. God is the owner and the master of all creatures. We mankind, we are not the master or the owner. We are God's servant. So in this manner, we can see the correct relationship between God and man. So you can see the covenant according to this relationship. 그렇죠. 그러니까 모든 의미를 하는데 선악과 먹지 말라. So God said to man that you are free to do anything on this earth, but you must not eat the 중다. fruit from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. When you eat of it, you will surely die. 여기서 하나님과 인간의 올바른 관계가 뭐냐는 거. And then what is the correct relationship between God and man from here? 피조물은 창조주를 의지해야 살수 있습니다. Creatures, we must depend on our Creator. Only then can we live. Then proxy rulers, they must obey their ruler. And then servants, we must serve our Master. And according to this relationship, we can find the duty of mankind to our God. To our God. 이 창조에 따라 통치 원리 따라서 인간은 하나님을 의청기고 의지하고 순종해야 돼. And that is why according to this principle of creation, we in mankind we must obey God, we must serve God, we must depend 그렇죠. on him. 그러면 하나님은 인간에게 하나님 노릇을 해준다. And when you do that, then at the time God will play the role as God to us. 그게 뭡니까? So what does that mean? 하나님이 인간에게 이 영적 축복을 다 it means that God will provide a spiritual blessing to mankind. 그렇죠. And once this relationship is broken down, then we will die. This is the covenant. 사는데, 죽는다, once this covenant is maintained, then we can live forever. But once this covenant is broken down, then we will die. And this is something that God let Adam know. And then we can rule over and then conquer all the creatures on this earth with this spiritual blessing from God. And at the time, the, all the creatures, they'll provide physical and material blessing to man. This is the order. So we must remember this. So this, so this is the principle of God's creation and his reign that God let us know. But people do not know about this, right? What is the reason that they, they, they don't know about it? Why? Because we were not really born having this kind of status. That is why people are not, not aware of this. And that is why through the word of God, God revealed this to us. But people do not really believe in God and people don't know the word of God. That's why they have no choice but to not to know about this spiritual fact. So what is the Bible? The Bible is about the revelation. God opens the secret to us and then God shows it. And that is why through the word of God we must change our perspectives. 그렇잖아요. So for example, like even though like non-believers they are saved after believing in Jesus Christ, but so far they have been they, they have been living their life based on some other things, not the gospel. 
And many people they have believed this so, uh, so far they have been believed in like incarnation. And it is the culture of those people. 그러니까 뭐 아직도 개고기 안 먹잖아요. 네? 그렇죠. 아니 돼지고기도 안 먹어요. 남자도 못 아예 돼지고기도 안 먹어요. Oh, that is why, like, for example, Pastor Amjad, he doesn't really even eat pork because of this kind of cultural thing. And do you know the reason why? Because after he was born, up to now, he, was, has, he has been just raised up in this kind of Muslim culture. That's why. So actually they have no choice but to just live their life in this manner even though they receive this gospel because all this other cultural thing it has become their imprimatur in nature. 그리고 뭐 마귀가 잘 아는데 여러분 각인 뿌리 체질은 복미 아니라 그걸 잘 알죠. And there is something that Satan really knows for sure. Satan knows that your imprimatur in nature is not the gospel centered. 그거요. 여러분이 이걸 and that's why while you are doing workshop, you have to continuously change this kind of imperfect nature. So that's why, as I mentioned before, even right now, like disciples from Indonesia, they continuously do this workshop and then they post it on the Kakao group. So once this impermanent nature is really changed, then the works will take place. But if it doesn't change, then the works will not take place. Why? Because something which is imprinted in you, according to this, you will receive the answer. And then what is rooted in you, it will bear fruit. And then the nature that you have, it will become your life. That's why no matter how much you receive training a lot, but if you don't really change these three things, works will not take place for you. And that is why it is the same for you and for other people. When you meet important disciples, if you think they are really God's pre pre prepared disciples, then you must change their imprint with their nature or perspectives with this message. Yeah. And if that is so, if this world is maintained in this um, according to this principle, then there, then there would be no problem at all. But the issue is that this world has become fallen. So it has become fallen world. So what is the meaning of this? How can you explain about this? So this is the second chart. So this upper part is God's kingdom. Why? Because this world is under God's reign. That's why. But what about this world? It is not kingdom of God. Why? Because it is kingdom of Satan. The reason is because this world is under Satan's reign. That's why. This is about this fallen world. If that is so, then we must explain about this with the word of God, with the Bible. That is why if you look at Isaiah chapter 60 verse 2, it says that the darkness covers the world and then the thick darkness covers all people. It says that the darkness covers the world. And the thick darkness is over all peoples. So this is about this world. So what does this mean? If you look at Ezekiel chapter 28 verse 13 and there is an angel there was an angel praising God and his name is Lucifer and then according to the Bible there are three types of angels and there is a group of angels praising God and there is a group of angels who is a and they are the soldiers of God. And the other group is the messenger of God. 
그 중에서 하나님을 찬양 천사들. And among them there is a group of angels praising God. 예, 이사야 14장 12분 너 아침에 아주 경영성 기억하는 말이야. And if you look at Isaiah chapter 14 verse 12 it says that you are the morning star, the son of morning star. 그 개명색이란 말이 라틴 말로 루시퍼입니다. 루시퍼. So the word morning star in Greek language it is Lucifer. 그래서 사람들이 자꾸 루시퍼 천사 루시퍼 말고. And that is why people say like Lucifer when they 자, mention about Satan. 이 천사가 하나님을 찬양하는 이 천사인데 이사야 14장 12절 15절에 보면 내가 하나님의 대기라 하나님의 so 비기라. So the name of this angel is Lucifer, and if you look at Isaiah chapter 14, verse 12 to 15, he thought himself that I want to become like God. And I'll just go up, and then I'll become like God. So he was against God. And I know that after lunch you feel a bit sleepy, right? But you must not really sleep right now. You must not really doze off right now. So if you feel sleepy, then you can just stand up and then listen to the message. It is okay. You must really just fight against it. So this angel who says that I don't really want to serve God anymore, but I want to become like God. So in this manner, he was against God. He rebelled against God. So if you look at Revelation chapter 12, verse 7 to 9, the spiritual battle took place in the heaven. So the the group of angels, like the God's soldiers, they didn't really stand there still. So the Michael, he tried to like chase out the Satan from the heaven. The angel. And then the Lucifer and his angels, they didn't just like come down to this, um, come down to this earth, and then they also the, the fight with them. And then the spiritual battle took place in the heaven, and the Bible tells us that that battle the angel of Lucifer, they were defeated, so they hurled down to the earth. And then great dragon was hurled down to the earth. What is that? It is ancient serpent or Satan. And even his followers were also hurled down to the earth. So the angel, he was against God, and then he was defeated in the spiritual battle. That's why he was chased out from the heaven, and then he was hurled down to the earth. And it is great, it is ancient serpent or Satan. And then his followers were also hurled down to the earth. So we call them demons. So if you look at Genesis chapter 1 verse 2, even before creation, those beings, they, were exist, they existed on this earth as a darkness, void, and chaos. And they are the ones, I mean, this being is the one who caused Genesis chapter 3 problem. And it says the ancient serpent, and then if you look at Genesis chapter 3, there is a serpent lured Adam and Eve. What did he say? And he says that, oh, you can have this fruit, but the fruit is forbidden to eat by God. And he says that if you eat this fruit, that you will not die, but you can become like God, knowing good and evil. And where is that kind of like fruit? Like, do you think is there any kind of fruit that you can become like God after you have that? So what is the meaning of it? It means that Satan tell them and told them to break down this covenant. In other words, it means that you Satan said to them that you have to break down this relationship. And that is why if you look at Hosea chapter 6 verse 7 
하나님을 반역했다. It says that like Adam, they broke down the covenant and then they were unfaithful to God. 그렇죠. 그러니까 맞잖아요. 허락한 문이 아니라 언약 아담처럼 언약 이 언약 관계를 깨뜨리고 하나님을 안간히 하나님의 반역이 됩니다. And that is why the issue is not about having this fruit, but it is about just breaking down the covenant and then being against God. 그러면 마귀 말 따라 하나님 대신 우리가 문제게 하나님 하면 되는데 하나님 대신 그냥 우리가 완전히 이렇게 고생을 죽도록 해서 살아. And if that is so, that if the word of Satan was right, then we, we would become like God, right? But actually, his word was wrong. That's why we were against God, and as a result, we are really suffering to death. 그러니까 이 언약을 사단의 유혹받은 인간이 언약 깨뜨린 거야. So that's why people who are deceived by Satan, they broke down this covenant. Then what is the result of breaking down the covenant? It is death. 그렇죠. Isn't it so? 자, 뭐냐? Then what is death? 있는데, 뭐 and if this word of God is correct, then everyone will actually they have to die. But 그렇잖아요. right now everyone is alive. Like many people are, are alive. And God says that if you're of this, that you will surely die. And then if all of us, we if we have that original sin inherited by an Adam, then we are also supposed to die. But now we are all alive. So this is the meaning. This dotted line turned into this thick line. It means that separation. The physical world has been separated from this spiritual world. So this is the result of Genesis chapter 3. Please have a look at this carefully. That all of us, we are born here in this world, and then we are living here, and then we, li- we die here in this world. What is the reason? Because this sin is inherited to us as it is. Romans chapter 5 verse 12, it says that because of one person, sin entered into this world. Because of sin, death came into this world. And in this way, like all people, they have sinned, and then the, the death came into all people. So we can express the state of original sin in this manner. Separation. Now we live in this limited world. And we just live on this earth with inherent resource. And when they all just run out, and then when you have deficiency, then ultimately we should die. So this is what we say is death. So all of us, we are just born here and then living here. That's why we consider this world as the natural or rightful one. So if you don't really change people's perspective with the word of God, then actually all the knowledge that people really learn from this world is about just this separation. That's why they cannot really understand the gospel. 말 성경 가지고 보태도 뺄거 없어요. 바르게 쓰면. And that is why you don't really have to add something on the word of God or like just take something away from the word of God. You just have to explain this gospel to people as it is. 그러니까 너희 허물과 죄로 죽었던 너희 살서 이제. And the Bible tells us that as for you, you are dead in your transgressions and sins. 너희 죄가 너희와 하나님 사이를 내어 버렸다 갈랐다. And then he also says that your sins separated you from God. 그게 뭡니까? So what does that mean? It tells us about this separated state. And that is why we give you this kind of example or explanations so that you can understand about this. For example, if a tree is rooted down, is, is rooted down in the ground, then it can be provided all the water and nutrients. What does that mean? It means that if we have this correct relationship between God and us, then we are, su- we are supposed to enjoy all the unlimited and spiritual blessing from God. 
Isn't it so? If a root, uh, if a tree is rooted down in the ground, then it, it is provided all the water and nutrients continuously. But what if we uproot this tree from the ground? And from that moment, the tree is separated from the ground, right? But this separated tree, it doesn't really die immediately. Why? Because inside of the tree, there is inherent resource there. That's why. And that resource is limited. And that's why when this time goes, then all the resource is just running out. And then this, that tree, it withers, and then it finally dies. So it is same for everything. So actually it's same for mankind who are separated from the spiritual world. It means that the mankind we cannot really enjoy the spiritual blessing from God anymore. And we are no longer enjoy eternal blessing, eternal life from God. And if we have our flesh only, then when we die, then everything will be over. But since we have the spirit, since we are a spiritual blessing, we have no choice but to go to the hell. So if you understand in this manner, then 자, it is correct. 그러면, then what kind of world is it? This world is under the reign of Satan. 그렇죠. And it is under the reign of Satan. If you look at John chapter 16 verse 11, it says that the prince of this world is Satan. 4, 4, 2 Corinthians 4.4, 4, the God of this age is Satan. What does that mean? It means that it is Satan who rules over this separated physical world. And that is why this is the kingdom of Satan. When you talk about the kingdom, there are many elements for the kingdom, but the core thing is who is the ruler, who is the one who reigns this kingdom? So the kingdom of God, it means that God is the one who reigns this kingdom. But what about this kingdom of Satan? Satan is the one who rules this world. That's why we call this physical world as kingdom of Satan. Then how does Satan rule over this world? And with the law of sin and death. And he rules over this world with sin and death. And that is why if you look at Romans chapter 6 verse 23 it says that the wages of sin is death. Means that the result of sin is death. So Satan utilized this. So if you look at Romans chapter 8 verse 2 it says the law of sin and death. And then if you look at 1 John chapter 3 verse 8 it says that those who sin everyone who commits sin they all belong to Satan. So Satan he always makes you commit sin. And then Hebrews chapter 2 verse 14 it says that Satan is the one who captures the authority of Death. So it means that Satan he makes people to commit sin and then he also brings death which is the result or the wages of sin and then people they don't really die immediately and then the sim they have the symptoms of sin that is suffering. So this is the way of Satan rule over this world. Then what about man? We have become slave of Satan. We have become servant of Satan. And that is why the Bible tells us 
The Bible tells us that your father is the devil. John 8:44. 에베소 2장에 세상 풍속을 쫓고 공유세로 따라. And Ephesians chapter 2 verse 2 says that you follow the rule of this world. 사단이 너희거든요. It means that we have become a slave of Satan. 여기서 열두 가지 인생이. And from here, twelve life problems started. Twelve life problem. 12 life problem. 자, 그 열두 가지가 근본 문제. So the first is fundamental problem. 근본 문제는 내면의 문제. So the fundamental problem is about our inner world problem. 뭐죠? 타락된 본성. What is that? This is corrupted instinct. 그게 뭡니까? What does that mean? Genesis chapter 3 verse 4 to 5. Genesis chapter 6 verse 4 to 5. Genesis chapter 11 verse 1 to 8. 자, 이게 다뭐 내면의 문제. So all these things are about the problems of our inner world. 이미 인간은 타락된 본성으로 태어나. Like mankind when they are born, they are born out of corrupted instinct. 창세기 3장 4절 어떤 내면입니까? 자기 주장 의지. In Genesis chapter 3 verse 4 to 5, it is about self assertion or their own opinion. Or willing 알겠습니다. or will. It is something that Satan planted in us. 네가 하나님 되는 거야. Satan says, "You are God." 하나님 의자 순종 그 필요 없다. 네가 하나님 되는 거야. You don't have to depend on God or serve God or obey God. You yourself can become 그렇죠. like God. 그때부터 인간은 자기 주장하기 시작해 자기를. So from the moment that like mankind they started to have their own assertion. 원래 인간은 창조 자기 주장해도 안 되지 알았어요. That like originally when man when God created by 그렇죠. when God created man God didn't really just create man so that they would have their own assertion. 인간을 창조할 때 하나님이 하나님을 의지하고 순종하도록 만들죠. When God created man, God created man so that they would depend on God and then obey God. 근데 왜 인간이 자꾸 자기를 주장하냐? But what is the reason that mankind we have our will and our own, our own assertion? 타락된 본성이. It is all about our corrupted instinct. 그때부터 인간은 하나님 앞에 자기를 주장하고 사람 앞에 자기를 주장하는. So from the moment mankind we just we have our stubbornness or we have our like assertion before God and before people. 그러니까 모든 게 전부 나 중심이요. 내 기준, 내 수준, 내 능력으로 사는 거. And that is why in everything they are always self-centered. They live their life centered on the, centered on themselves, centered on their own thinking. 이미 우리 안에 내면에 이런 다른 본성으로 딱 각인돼. So this kind of corrupted instinct is imprinted in us in our in our world. In Genesis chapter 6 verse 4 to 5. 육신 물질 중심입니다. And it is physical and material centered. 이것이 타락된 본성으로 인간은 이제 어떻게 되어 있어요? 탐심, 욕심, 정욕으로. And that is why we have our physical desire, greed. 이렇게 딱 가리고. And in this way this physical things are imprinted in us. 우리 인간은 이미 가지고 이렇게 타락된 본성으로 태어나. So we mankind we have become fallen that's why everyone is born out of this corrupted instinct. 창세기 11장 이제 8절 뭡니까? What about Genesis chapter 11 verse 1 to 8? 애들이 오로지 세상에서 성공하는 것이 그게 목표. And the goal or the the goal of mankind is to have worldly success. 여기에 동기가 있어. And people have their own motivation of this. 이게 야망. And it is their ambition. And they just live their life having this kind of life goal. Yeah. And in this manner, like fundamentally, Satan makes mankind to be fallen into Genesis chapter 3. Oh, and then when people just live their life captured by Satan in this like, physical and material manner, that's why they had this Nephilim. And people, they just live their life centered on the worldly success, and then later on, they just end up facing Tower of Babel. And then with this kind of fundamental problems, we are just born on this earth, having this corrupted instinct. 
So this is the evidence of we of like mankind being slave of Satan. 자, 이것이 태어날 때 이거 근본 문제인데 이것이 살아가면 자꾸 오래된 문제로 So this is the fundamental problem of mankind, but as we live our lives, it has it has revealed on this earth as long-standing problems. 이게 뭐죠? 문화. What is that? It is our culture. 여러분이 문화를 하는 거 성경은 이렇게 근거를 의심하고 있지만 모든 세상 문화를 보세요. And if you look at the Bible, the Bible tells us about these several things. But anyways, when you look at all the things on this earth, everything is about the culture, the long-standing. 모든 world. 세상의 문화가 그렇잖아요. 전부 이세 가지가 오래된 문화죠. So what is the culture on this earth? These three fundamental problems have become our culture. 나 중심, 육신 중심, 세상 중심. Self-centeredness, physical material centeredness, and the worldly success centeredness. 그렇잖아요. 이게 무속이고 점술이고 종교인데. So it is shamanism, fortune telling, and then idol worshiping. 왜 인간은 우상을 숭배하고 무속을 따라 점술을 따라? And what is the reason that mankind they worship idol and then they also do some like shamanism thing and they also do some fortune telling? And what is the reason that all these things have become our lifestyle or culture? 전부 이런 타라 돈술 때문에. Because of this fallen and in, and the corrupted instinct. That's why. 그렇죠. 여러분이 갑바이 대구 가면요, 갑바이 가면 한가위 소원을 이루는다. For example, if you go to Daegu, there is really famous like idol there, which is called 갑바위. 그러니까 누구든지 한가위 소원을 받을 이루는. And then people say that if you just go to that like 갑바위 and if you just bow down before it, then anyone can can have their like their wish to be fulfilled. 무슨 소원이다? 자기 소원. Their wish can be fulfilled, and the what kind of wish, what kind of thing they just pray for? They just pray for their own wish, their own desire. 그래, 자기 소원 한 가지를 이루기 위해서 그 소원. So people want to want to really like have some fulfillment or something, and that is why they just go there and then they pray before it. 그래서 여러분 첫불 보면 이래서 나 소원 성취. And then if you go to the kapawi, then you can see many candles there. And then on the candles, it says the fulfillment of your wish or your desire. So it means that people want to really, so? people want their wish to be fulfilled. That's why they just go and then pray there. And then they are also like physical and self and, and then material centered. And then they just pray for this kind of things. And if you like study or research upon like religions, then actually all religious people they are praying for themselves or for physical or material things. 그렇잖아요. And also they are praying for worldly success. 승진하게, so for example, if you go to this kind of place, then you can see the prayer topic of people, and then the prayer topic is about this. Oh, please just uh, bring some like success or the physical health or something, or the or get some promotion. 그게 우상, 종교, 미신, 종교, so that is all about the like idol worshiping and then shamanism and fortune telling. So in this manner, Satan captures mankind through our culture. 때문에, and many people gather around them. That's why a lot of like finance also comes out from this kind of culture. And since there are many people out there, that's why many politicians they also gather around this kind of culture. And that is why like everything includes our culture, the economy and then like society, everything turns into the ones of force of darkness. And if you really cannot open your eyes to see this spiritual fact, you cannot evangelize people. Isn't it so? 우리가 지금 왜 세상이 지금 이렇게 돌고 그러고 이게 안 돼. 이걸로 봐야 되는데 and you must look at the world with this kind of perspective. But if you don't really have this perspective, then when you look at the world, you are just always jealous of the people. You are always jealousy, and then you are always deceived by other things. 
자, 이것이 이제 가문을 통해서 개인으로 붙여라. 완전히 여섯 가지 운명을 잡혀버려요. 멸망, 개인 멸망 여섯 가지. And all these things are just like passing down to throughout the family line. 여섯 가지 운명. And then people are captured by six fates. 그대로 잘 아시죠? And you all know about this well. John chapter 8 verse 44. Your father is the devil. 사단의 노예가 된 인간. 그렇죠? 잡혀있잖아요. And men we have become slave of Satan. Yes, we are captured by Satan. 아버지를 섬기니까 아버지 노예 마귀를 숭배하는 우상. And we have to serve our father. That's why we have no choice but to have idol worshiping. 여기서 어려울 수밖에 없어요. 정신 문제 있다고. And then mental problems have no choice but to follow us. 그래서 그게 그러니까 육신 문제로 가는 거예요. And then later on it is connected to physical problem. 그래 끝나지 않고 내생 문제. And then it's not the end. After life problems also follow us. 그게 후손 문제. And it also it is also connected to next generation problem. 빠져 나올 수 없어. And there is no way for us to escape from this. 올무이, 올무이. It is our snare. 이거는 문화적 틀이. The second one, this is the culture, this is our frame. 이거는 뭐요? 함정이. And the first one, it is our trap. 우리 인간이 이렇게 사는 거. So we mankind, we are living our life in this manner. 타락된 세상. We are living in this fallen world. 사단이 통치하는 세상. So this is the world where Satan rules over. 그 노예가 된 인간. And mankind, we have become slave of Satan. And that is why mankind, we cannot escape from this 12 life problems. 그러니까 and that is why we must understand this world correctly. 여러분, and you must know about these first two 그렇죠. things. Only then can you understand about the gospel correctly. 아까 제가 했습니다. 여러분, 틀린 복음. 아, 하고 망합니다. And I mentioned about this before. If you preach other gospel or different incorrect gospel, then after you preach this wrong gospel, and then you will perish. 그렇죠. And if, then Jews, they were waiting for Messiah, and then they were crumbled. 왜냐? Why? Because they were looking for wrong Messiah. 그렇잖아. And even right now, they are waiting for their Messiah. But with their words, they say that they are waiting for Messiah, but actually they are grabbing hold of wrong or incorrect Messiah. And that is why Christ is the mystery of God. Like Paul, we must also confess like this, I have realized this mystery. And you must understand this first too. Only then can you understand about that mystery. Isn't it so? 그럼 보세요. 여러분이 이 여기에 인간은 여기서 태어나서 살다 가는데 어떻게 이걸 해결하겠어요? So please have a look at this. Mankind, we are all born in this fallen world, in this separated world. Then how can you solve this problem? 그렇잖아요. 여러분 답이 나와요. And if you really look at this correctly, then you can really see the solution. First, we must 왜? overcome Satan. Why? Because it is Satan who rules over this world and then we have become a slave of this world, 그렇죠. of Satan. We cannot escape from this at all. Why? Because we are captured by these 12 life problems. 그러니까 and that is why we must be able to overcome this Satan first. 자, what is the reason that we men kind of become like this? Because the relationship between God and us was broken down. The original sin it is not the committed sin. It is about God's covenant being broken down. Then how can you restore this relationship? And then we cannot escape from this world. Why? Because now we are separated from the spiritual world. So we must break down the wall between these two worlds. And Christ is the mystery to solve these three problems. Only then can you find the correct gospel. So 
복음이 뭔지 올바른 복음 설명. So having these two premises, you must able to understand about the gospel in a correct manner. 그래 제가 바울이 이걸 찾아냈고요. 이, 이걸 말한 거예요. So Paul, he was able to discover this. So he preached this. Acts chapter 28, verse 31. And if you look at the end, if you look at this Bible verse, Acts chapter 28, verse 31, what did Paul say? He proclaimed about the kingdom of God and he also taught everything of the Lord Jesus Christ. And that is why Paul said, my gospel. 오직 예수 그리스도로만 회복되는 하나님 나라. So it is kingdom of God which is restored through only Jesus Christ. 이 복음을 말하는. So Paul he preached 그렇죠. this gospel. 이걸 여러분 지금까지 이해했으면 이제 이 말을 알수 있어. And if you understand this first too, then now you can understand this word. 그래서 예수님은 자꾸 하나님 나라를 말씀하신 거예요. And that is why Jesus continuously mentioned and explained 그렇죠. about the kingdom of God. 그 나라를 약속하고 그 나라에 들어오라고 말씀하셨어요. Jesus promised this kingdom of God and then he also invited people to come into this world. 그럼 사도들은 자꾸 예수 그리스도 예수 예수가 그리스도다. 또한 예수 그리스도 그 때문에 심지어 부활했다. 이걸 말했어요. And in the case of like apostles of Jesus, they kept saying that Jesus is the Christ and then he resurrected. 왜 차이가 나느냐. 그렇죠. 구원사전이 시점이 차이라 말이에요. But what is the reason that the Jesus and the apostles of Jesus they said kind of different gospel because it is about the time actually. Why? Because something that Jesus promised it is fulfilled on the cross. And that's why Paul he combined everything, and that's why he mentioned he proclaimed about the gospel of kingdom of God restored through only Jesus Christ. So today, they, during the rest of our time, I'll explain to you about this gospel. 그렇죠. So we have our lecture. Our time is scheduled today until. 9 p.m. So I think I I'll explain everything to you guys about this. Okay, then let's take a break right now, and then we'll have forum, and then we'll continue our lecture.